everybody welcome out to my herb garden at least part of it anyway today on my task list I'm going to be propagating some herbs so we're gonna start today with lavender and then we're gonna do the rosemary that I've got behind me you can see the rosemary is still a little bit woody in this section um, it's just not come completely back from the spring yet but it's it's showing new growth so both of these are the perfect time to find some clippings to be able to root them so it's super easy to root both of these. Um, all that I need is a pot of dirt, shot glass of water, some rooting hormone, a plastic bag. This is what I'm using to make a greenhouse. You can use all kinds of things for it. Um, people have used soda bottles, milk jugs. I mean, any anything that you want to do to make a greenhouse. This is just super easy. Um, and then, of course, your clean... Uh, <laughs> what am I trying to say? Shears <laughs> and a skewer. And um, so we're going to start. I've actually already done the um, trimming just to make it a little bit faster. So we're going to start with the rosemary. So I cut a piece of um, new growth. You don't want the woody part that, that looks brown and is hard. You want green, soft growth. So I already cut some of those. Um, the target is about, you know, four inches or so. And I pulled the lower leaves off. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna roll the stem here in the rooting hormone. And I, I always put rooting hormone in a separate container. I don't wanna dip it right into the jar because if this is contaminated, it's gonna contaminate the entire jar and everything I try to root from that point on. So I just pour a little bit in a dish and then I get rid of this when I'm done. So I'm gonna dip that in the rooting hormone. And then I'm gonna take my skewer, if you can see this, I'm gonna make a little hole with that and then I'll put my lavender down in there. And I do that for a few reasons. The, um, the skewer makes a hole so I can put it down pretty far, but it keeps the rooting hormone from rubbing completely off and it also keeps you from breaking the stem. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I cut six of them, so I'm just gonna um, you know, finish putting those in here. And then I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of water. I did dampen the soil already, but I'm gonna just spritz it again and then cover it with my plastic and then this will be my little greenhouse and so I should know um, really just in a, a handful of weeks two two weeks or so if this is gonna start to root um, and lavender really it this is the best way to propagate it you can grow lavender from seed but it's really hard and it takes a very very long time this plant I grew from seed and I think this is about three years old and it's the first time that it's finally big enough for me to to make some cuttings on it um, and then that way, when you propagate it this way, you have a, a copy, an exact copy of this plant. And this has been a really nice, healthy one. So that's a good thing. Um, so then the next one is the rosemary. And I have clippings of that already too. And you wanna do the same thing. You want about, um, you know, four to six inches or so of new growth, not the, the dark, you know, wood looking ones. You want it green. And I also pulled the lower stems off of those. But for the rosemary, I'm actually not going to put it in soil. I'm going to put it in the shot glass of water. Um, this will take about a month or so for it to start to root. Um, if it turns brown and, and stuff before that, it's probably not going to take. Um, so cut off several clippings because they're not all going to make it. Um, and then just go ahead and put these both in some sunlight. And uh, hopefully you'll have some new plants. Thanks for watching.